Well, I can hardly help Graham, I must say. I'm even emotional for all the mums out there that need to send them all off. And I guess for the dads as well. But first day at school can often be traumatic. And I must say more for the parents than for the kids in itself. But we need to get some tips from our experts. So we brought one in. He's a psychologist, Dr. Helga Schumer. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Always a pleasure. When I have a psychologist on the show, you know, I want to ask you all kinds of other stuff. But we need some advice today, you know, dealing with the stress of letting go. The kids are at school. We're back at home. Yeah, Help. it's now about the mums and yeah. the dads. They're at home. Best thing, go home, <laughs> hold the teddy, hug it very, very hard. Are you serious? I'm serious. What, what can you do? There's mm. nothing you can do. The child is at school now. The child is already trying to cope with all the new things around it. You've got to get into a routine. It would have been nice if we would have started last week. We could have run practice runs. We could have gone to school together. We could have packed, packed the bag together. All of that calms you. So if there's a routine, today everything is being new. You go home, you hug the teddy, and then you call me. Excellent advice of, of doing practice school runs. I yeah. love that. Could you do it for the week to come? Yes, of course. Okay. Every day gets easier. Every mm. day gets better. Involve the child. Involve the child packing the bag. Ask the child what would be good for food at school, what not. What should go in the bag, what shouldn't. Mm. And if there's a school uniform, put it out together the night before. All of that calms you. So ritual calms the mind. Ritual calms the mind. What about emptiness syndrome? What if your child is now older? And you know that varsity is starting and the kid's going to leave for hostel. I've done it three times with my daughters. You'll survive it. You survive. You have to let go. It's like you have rain. Are you going to stop it? Mm -mm. How are we going to stop it? Bad you have enough. a child. You're not going to stop it. They have to grow up. They have to grow up. And sooner or later, parents have to realize mm. they are transcending into adulthood. And that is good. What can we tell our child? You know, they need to go to... Is there some reassuring words we can use? Like, you'll be fine. You'll be okay. I don't know. What do you say to a child with Whatever they... comes naturally. Really? The best thing is to say that I'm going to be here. Oh, wow. Does it matter what? I'm, I'm going to be, be here. here. So if there's consistency and they mm. know that when they come back or they have to come home and they know there are reassuring words in the presence of the person, the presence of the person counts. Mm. I'm going to be good. here when you come back. Absolutely. Oh, that I feel better now, huh? D d reassuring words. Tips to saying goodbye, you know? What, what would you tell a parent, you know, tomorrow you... morning when they need to wave again? <laughs> <laughs> By tomorrow, they already have a way of doing it. They've seen mm. the first day and now the second day. If you want to progress, it should be short, sweet and intense. Wow. Okay, wait, we need this. So if you want to progress, you, it's short and sweet. Yeah. No long hugs. No, no, don't, don't prolong it because the mm. emotions then overwhelm. The child now already knows the new environment mm. and there are kids to be distracted by. The teacher is waiting. They know the environment. The longer the parent, you need to understand the parents virtually impose their emotion on the child. Definitely. So if the parent shows competence, the child feels more confident. Wow. Okay, if the parent shows confidence, then the kids will be confident too. Dr. Helgo, thank you so much. Always a pleasure. All the best to you and all the parents that's going to come knocking on your door. I oh. hope you have plenty more advice. It's, <laughs> it's great to work with. Well, there you heard it. Some advice for all of us uh, having to put them back to school.